Hello, welcome to the Mark Gennard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to break down how you can optimize your Windows 11 PC for the ultimate gaming experience. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So you're going to want to enable game mode, right? Turn on game mode in the Windows 11 settings. This prioritizes gaming by reducing background tasks and interruptions, ensuring, you know, smoother performance during gameplay. Set power mode to best performance, right? Switch your system's power mode to best performance via the sit, you know, settings, system, power, or power and battery on laptops. This allows your hardware to run at full capacity for gaming, right? To optimize graphic settings, assign your games to use the dedicated GPU instead of integrated graphics, right? Go to the settings then system, then display, then graphics, select your game and set it to high performance. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling in the same menu to reduce latency and improve frame rates, right? Update graphics drivers, right? So always keep your GPU drivers up updated, right? Via NVIDIA, AMD or Intel software to ensure optimal performance and compatibility with the latest games. You know, get rid of the fat tool, disable unnecessary background apps and overlays, right? Remove or disable bloatware and unnecessary background, okay? Applications that can consume system resources, right? All those ones that we don't need, let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. Disable in-game overlays such as Xbox Game Bar, Discord, or GE Force experience overlays. You know, basically to free up resources and reduce input lag. Adjust visual effects for performance. So for maximum performance, set Windows visual effects to adjust for best performance via going to system properties, then performance options, right? Activate high performance power plan. So in the control panel, go to the hardware and sound, then power options, then select the high performance plan to prevent your system from throttling, you know, during gaming. In regards to network optimization, so use a wired LAN connection instead of Wi-Fi for lower latency and more stable online gaming. Disable security features temporarily. This is advanced. So for maximum performance, you can temporarily emphasize that disable features like memory integrity, core isolation and virtual platform, you know, virtual machine platform. But be aware this may reduce system security you know, re-enable them after gaming. Keep your system updated. So ensure your Windows 11 PC that you use for gaming and all relevant drivers are up to date for security and performance improvements. Now, here are some additional tips that you're gonna wanna keep up here while you're doing this or whatever you're doing that. So remove pre-installed bloatware and unnecessary startup programs to reduce background load. Enable XMP slash DOCP in your BIOS for faster RAM speeds if your hardware supports it. Regularly clean your system, whether it's physically and digitally, to avoid overheating and resource you know, hogging. Now, here are the best practices for Windows, you know, Windows 11 gaming PC. Security practices. So, again, keep your Windows and all software updated. So, regularly update Windows 11 and all applications, you know, all installed applications, including games and drivers to patch security vulnerabilities and stay protected against the latest threats. Use built-in security features. So enable and configure, you know, Windows Defender antivirus for real-time malware protection. Turn on the Windows firewall to block unauthorized network access. Use BitLocker uh, device encryption to protect your data in case your PC is lost or stolen. Ensure Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 are enabled to prevent malware from tampering with the boot process and to safeguard cryptographic keys. Then, you know, harden the system settings. So enable control folder access to protect against rans ransomware attacks. Yes, there are still ransomware attacks. Activate exploit protection features such as the Control Flow Guard CFG data you know execution prevention and address space layout randomization basically use user account control right to ensure sensitive actions require authorization practice safe account management so use strong unique passwords for all accounts and change them regularly 
enable two-factor authentication on gaming accounts, email, and any services that support it. Avoid using administrator accounts for daily activities. So create and use a standard user account for gaming and everyday use. Secure your network connect uh, only to trusted password protected Wi-Fi networks, okay? Uh, consider using a reputable VPN, especially if you're, you know, in other places, for added privacy, especially on public networks. Avoid risky behavior, so do not download or install pirated games, cheats, or software, as these are common sources of malware, okay? Don't be cheap. Don't be trying to click that free stuff. Stay away from suspicious websites, pop-ups, and unsolicited links or email attachments. Manage app permissions and privacy, right? So regularly review and restrict app permissions, whether it be location, microphone, camera, etc., via Windows 11 privacy settings. So sign out of all, you know, accounts and lock your PC when away from your gaming setup. Back up important data, right? You know, because you're probably going to be using your Windows PC for many things. So regularly back up your game saves and important files to an external drive or secure cloud service to prevent data loss from malware or hardware failure. Okay. So these are some of the things that you want to gonna, you know, keep in mind. So if you like this video, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you want more videos like this, that let, let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button. Also hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I upload new videos. So if there if there's something I miss, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. And as always, see you on the next video.